And then the next match, it, it's it's almost now they're trolling us. But again, we, everybody has hope for Triple H's administration of this thing. But there's one person I don't know what his fascination or fixation is with this guy. I don't know why that he this guy gets so many chances and gets put. It's like the he's the you know WWE equivalent of pockets the company mascot triple h must love him johnny same face the next match on raw is austin theory against gargano and the thing I, i'm i'm sitting here looking at austin theory who a guy that should and probably will be wwe champion in the next three to five years who's got the size, got the physique. His work for this stage in his career and to be this young is nearly impeccable. He's had the little things. He's got personality. And he's being put in a position now to do a job to this diminutive, emotionless piece of human pablum, half his size, and I'm thinking, does does Gargano have pictures of Triple H with a paralegal or a goat? What is the... Why? And now his wife is back. What What is it? <laughs> Their theory is a foot taller. Obviously has more of everything that you would want <laughs> in a wrestler. And... It's a showcase for fucking Johnny Sameface to beat him. He went for a fucking, his rolling drop kick and Sameface super kicked him. Theory rolls out to the floor. Sameface does a dive through the ropes and DDTs him on the floor and then rolls him in and hits another DDT. One, two, three. So that wasn't even just a win, but he beat him flat in the middle of the ring with no bitch, no gripe, no out. He should have pissed in his mouth while he was down there. Can you think of anybody on this roster that belongs more in AEW with the rest of the children than Johnny Gargano? You know, I was paying close attention to this because there are matches of his that I've liked in the past, specifically tag team matches, but he does seem to be a guy that Triple H and the voices that Triple H listens to seem to really Inside like. Inside his head? Well, I don't think they're inside his head. I think they're inside a performance center <laughs> down in Florida. They like him, and he likes them. <laughs> and I was watching to see how the fans reacted to him, and I'd like to talk to some people in the building because it sounded to me, and it looked to me, like there wasn't a big pop for him coming out, and they were piping in audio. And I'd like to know because we said it last week, I think, Triple H is bringing up all of his last batch of NXT guys and now all at once, it seems, they're all ending up on the main roster. I guess Indy Hartwell and Braun Breaker will probably be next. They're all ending up on the main roster. Gargano's been away. He's back. Even when he was being pushed in NXT, we always said, how's this guy going to work on the main roster? It wouldn't work with Vince, and it wouldn't. But now the question's going to be, will it work with the fans? And I think time will tell. But back to Austin Theory. If they're not punishing him or trying to humble him, or trying to break him like a fucking dog. I don't know what they're doing. Because as soon as he comes out there, he looks like a star. Other than the fucking selfie thing, enough of that. That's yeah. Treat that with the Vince. That aura. was prob that was probably Vince. Let that go. Other than that, let the guy fucking let him shine already. But he loses every match we see him in for months now, ever since he got that briefcase. <laughs> And I guarantee you they'll figure out some way to shove that thing up his ass, too. 